was all said. You can make a statement. Well, yeah, no, today's uh, definitely one of the saddest days uh, in Toronto, but not only in Toronto, Canada, on the passing of uh, Jack Layton. Uh, when I first got elected, uh, he was my seatmate, and uh, he taught me a lot. To uh, pass on my condolences to his family. Challenging day for everyone. Mr. Mayor, can you share some, some recollections, some memories you have of, of sitting next to Mr. Layton during your first days here? He, he taught me never to take things personal. Um, he taught me um, you're going to be surprised on who votes with you sometimes and who votes against you. And he, he joked around and said, You and I are probably never going to vote the same way. But um, you, you never could meet someone. You never saw, at least I didn't, I, I never saw Jack yell or scream. He was always composed, no matter um, how rough it was. And it does, as uh, you know, get pretty uh, rough down in, in the chamber. And um, he taught me a lot. Um, Have you been able to talk to Councillor Mike Lake? I put a call into him. I got his answering machine. I left him. What are your best memories of Jack? His smile. Just, he, even after he lost a vote, or he won a vote, he just looked at you know, he always had that bright smile on his face. And, what uh, what, what do you Jack Layton, a successful politician? He was a people's person. He used to sign on right in the middle of the Danforth during the festivals, and he'd stop on the sidewalks and say hi to people. And uh, I, he never let the job go to his head, as I mean, you know, some politicians. I can see it in Merrigan. He was not one. He was very, very humble, and um, he'll be missed. It's, it's very, very unfortunate, but I just want to thank him uh, for what he taught me. What's your major contribution to this city? Helping out, I think, um, the poor people. I think he really you know, uh, put a lot of money, uh, wanted to put a lot of money, obviously, into the social services and the homeless programs. And to, I, that's what I, I think his biggest eye was. But just average, I think educating the average person. He was a very, very smart person. I, uh, I know he wrote a lot of books. And, uh, he was a professor and taught. And uh, he, he was a very, very uh, articulate, very, very um, educated. Uh, Councillor Holliday earlier this morning talked about his ability to sway votes on council. That uh, in tight issues, people that he never expected to vote with, Mr. Layton, would vote with him. I mean, did you ever find yourself in that position? Absolutely. Yeah, like you said, so, most of the time we're probably voting uh, against each other. But um, I, I can't remember exactly which votes they were. But sometimes you said, "Here, Rob, look at this side of it." But you didn't do it in a in a, in a way to pressure you or in a vindictive way. Did in a very uh, diplomatic way. And, uh, so I can remember changing my mind um, and, and voting with him a couple of times. I can't remember on what exact issue, but uh, just how he approach it. And like I said, I, 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 uh, I wish the best. And, uh, There's one more course. question over here, Ms. Mayor. When was the last time you saw him? What was that? When did I see Jack last? No, it was during the federal campaign. I can't remember where. I don't think it was on the Danforth. I know I saw him on the Danforth two years ago, um, but I can't remember exactly where I saw him. But I know I saw him in the federal campaign. Matter of fact, I saw him walking behind City Hall. I remember that now. It was uh, probably about six months ago.